Thank you, Christopher. And now in other news. The National Water Commission, NWC, is advising that the drought has caused a decline in inflow and a shortfall in production at some of its facilities in the Western Division. As a result of the shortfall in the amount of water available for distribution, customers served by these systems will either experience low water pressure or intermittent supply. Parishes that will be affected are St. Elizabeth, Hanover, St. James, and Trelawney. The NWC is advising that it will continue to monitor these systems and provide updates. In the meantime, the NWC is encouraging customers to store water for use should there be interruptions in the supply. And for further information and assistance, customers may contact the NWC call center at 888-225-5692. Chairman of the St. James Municipal Corporation and Mayor of Montego Bay, Councillor Leroy Williams, has made an impassioned plea for Jamaicans to support the government's One Child, One Tablet drive. Addressing a presentation ceremony yesterday at the Jamaica Linkage Ministry Center on Kent Avenue in Montego Bay, where the Paradise Dunbar Mango Walk CDC and the United States-based Faith Temple Christian Faith Church in Rockledge, Orlando, presented 12 tablets to students from the Paradise Basic School. Mayor Williams said the need for every Jamaican student to be in possession of a tablet, a laptop, or even a desktop computer is now at its peak. This, he pointed out, is as a result of all schools having to revert to online learning slash teaching which has placed some students at a disadvantage. He added that efforts must also be made by internet providers to ensure that top quality connectors are available to students and teachers to use in order to have the virtual classes running smoothly. And in paying tribute to the Dunbar Community Development Committee, CDC, for its partnership with the Faith Temple Christian Faith Church in Rockledge, Orlando, for donating the 12 tablets, Mayor Williams said the tablets are exactly what the students needed and could not have come at a better time. And that is our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning into Mello TV Evening News at 8. I am Tamar McHale. Stay safe and a pleasant viewing.